What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin and today we're coming in with a banger of a video, a true hoot and a holler. In today's video we're talking about a very recent shroom trip that I had. This is a very fun one. I hope you guys enjoy this video, drop a like if you do, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and also head over to my Twitter today because I'm doing a PlayStation 5 giveaway. You don't have to buy anything, it's completely free to enter, all you have to do is head over to my Twitter, which will be linked in the description, as well as the comment section, and enter that giveaway. It ends on December 10th, so you have plenty of time to enter, as long as you're watching this fairly soon after it's uploaded. But good luck to all of you for entering, happy holidays to everybody, and without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Now in today's video, we're talking about a very recent shroom trip I had. Now this actually took place on Halloween weekend, just a couple months ago. In fact, that's a little over one month ago, so I don't know why I said a couple, but I don't know, I guess technically it's a couple, who gives, who cares? Either way, it was recent. So... On this fateful day, it was the day after I had flown out to LA. I had flown out for Halloween weekend, honestly, with the sole intention of just going out there and having some fun. I also filmed some fun vlog stuff, which will be on my second channel, so you could see that fairly soon. I don't know why I haven't edited that yet. I'm, I'm lazy, but now that I talk about it and remember that, uh, yeah, I expect a vlog up on the channel within the next week. But either way, back on topic, uh, the second channel is Goblin420, by the way, but either way, so I had flown out for Halloween weekend, and, you know, I, I was looking to have some fun. Obviously, I, I filmed some fun vlog stuff, but besides that, you know, I, I was mainly just out there to get some weed and get faded and hang out with the homies. So I went over to Eric's house, and we're chilling out there for a little bit, trying to figure out what the night holds for us. Now, we had some plans, but we didn't know exactly what was going to go down there. You see... There was a weed event that we were going to. When I say weed event, you know, it's it's not like a, a formal or professional event. You know, oh, sit down, listen to the speaker. No, it's just a bunch of reps from companies that they set up a little booth and they give you dabs or they'll hand out some free joints and you just smoke in the venue. It's a pretty fun time. So there was two separate events that we had planned to go to this night. One was like a more... Uh, industry event per se uh, where, where a lot of company reps were going in a more you know kind of professional environment and then there was an after party and the after party is really where things got fun but we started out the night by taking a little bit of shrooms you know we had these chocolates and we decided that we could not go through the night without tripping you know Initially, we had only planned to take a little bit. I remember I had taken a couple pieces of these chocolates, which, granted, we had ate these chocolates many times before. In fact, the vast majority of my recent shroom trips have been off this brand of chocolates, which we don't need to disclose because I don't know if they want that kind of attention. Now, as we're chilling at Eric's house, Eric busts out this Halloween costume that he had. It was like some alien, and I had no idea that he was wearing a costume to the event. You see... It wasn't Halloween night at this point. It was weekend, yeah, but also this was like, it, this wasn't a Halloween event. There was a flyer for it, and it said nothing on there about costumes. So I'm sitting there, and I didn't bring a fucking costume. And I'm like, fuck, dude. Is everyone else going to have a costume? And I asked in advance, too. No, no one said anything about a costume. So I was like, yo, we're good. Attila's like, well, I don't have a costume either. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, oh, we're probably fine, dude. You know, like, we're not the only people who don't have costumes. So we eat our chocolates. We down our shrooms. Eric throws on his costume, and we get ourselves a ride over to the event, right? Now, we're four deep at this point, right? There's four of us. It's me. Eric, Attila, and then Eric's friend had flown in. Now, what are we going to call Eric? I don't know if he wants his real name in the video, so we're going to give him a nickname. We'll call him Kyle for this video, right? Remember, I have a real friend named Kyle who's been referenced in the videos. This is not him. This is nickname Kyle, all right? So just keep that in mind. So we take a little bit of shrooms, and we ride over to the event, and we bring the rest of the chocolates with us. And once we get there, the first event's pretty chill. You know, it's a relaxed environment. It's in this, like, this little kind of warehouse area, right? It's like a one-story thing, but it's a big open floor plan, and there's just a bunch of little booths set up. But as I walk in, I realize very quickly that myself and Attila might actually be the only two people in the entire venue without a costume on. I'm not joking. 
I bumped into like one other person the entire night that didn't have a costume on. So we walk in and I'm like, oh my God, I look like a dickhead. Like I look pretentious. Like everyone else has a costume on and I look like I'm too cool for it. When in reality, I would have totally worn a costume had I known this was a costume event. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, fuck man, I should have known. You know, it's it's Halloween weekend. I should have known, but fuck my life. You know, either way, we're here. Let's get faded. Now, the shrooms hadn't quite hit me yet. You know, I had taken two pieces of chocolate and normally two pieces of true chocolates is, is not that much, but these chocolates are different. The pieces are very big and two pieces will kick your ass. Trust me. I have taken three. I've even taken four before four was out of this world. Three is balls to the wall. And we got to three later in the night, but two, you're still tripping. And You know, at this point also, I hadn't been taking a lot of shrooms recently. You know, I've still been doing them here and there. But at this point, back in October, I had stopped microdosing every day. You know, there was a period where I was actually microdosing every single day. But at that point, I had slowed down with that. So my shroom tolerance was a little lowered because I hadn't actually tripped in at least a couple weeks. You know, so these two pieces shortly after walking into the event slapped me in the face, slapped me in the face. There's so many lights and decorations in this venue and I'm looking around and everything starts just, just glowing. These colors are really looking great. And I had this weird kind of experience where my FOV almost got turned up a little bit. You know, everything looked further away for some reason. It was kind of strange. I remember at one point I was just looking down at my shoes and I was like, dog, there's no way I'm that tall. Like I'm not that tall. Like, <laughs> Let's cut the shit, bro. I'm not I'm not even close to six foot. All right. I'm not I'm not that guy. So we're chilling at this event and we're we're just kind of walking around, checking out all the booths, you know, collecting the freebies that are being handed out. And obviously you could spark up whenever the fuck you want. So we get a joint going and I bump into a couple people who I hadn't seen in a little while. A couple people who I had met at other events like Secret Sesh that I had been to, but I hadn't seen since. So I bumped into a dude who we're going to call, let's see, what should we call him for this video? Let's call him Tony. So I bump into Tony, and Tony, actually, no, you know what? I, I think we've, we've used Tony before. Let's use a different name so it's not confusing. Let's use Tristan, all right? So I bumped into a dude who we're going to call Tristan. Now, Tristan is a guy who I've met a couple times. You know, I, I haven't really hung out with him very much, but he's a cool dude, you know? And we bump into him, and this guy is fucked up. This guy is out of his mind fucked up. I'm talking wasted. He He's loud. You can tell he's rowdy. He's, he's a little, like, you know, he's, he's kind of wobbling around a little bit, just standing still. And he says, he's like, dude, It's a fucking open bar over there. I've been getting drinks all night. And as soon as he said open bar, I said, what did you just say? Like, like, pardon me? The shrooms are already, you know, the vibes are flowing. They got fucking liquor in here. Let's go. So we go over to the open bar. I get vodka crayons for everybody. Completely free. All I had to do was tip. Completely free. No charge on the actual drink. So I'm in heaven. I'm like, bro, it's over with, dude. Like, I even have cash on me. I didn't know what I was going to do with this cash. I can just tip it all now. Like, this is perfect, great? So I'm getting drinks for everybody, dropping tips in the tip bowl, going back. We've got the joint sparked. And at the first event, it was much more tame. You know, that's kind of all we did. We walked around, said hello to some people that we vaguely knew, and smoked a very generous amount of weed. I also got pretty fucking drunk. I drank, I would say, probably four vodka crayons, which isn't a crazy amount, but this was not a bar so they didn't have to be stingy with the amount of liquor they were putting in and i'm telling you right now they were not stingy with the amount of liquor the cups were big and they put i watched them they put a very good amount of vodka in my crayons so we i was just lit out of my mind i started getting a little wobbly and my visuals were getting a little shaky and i didn't know if it was the shrooms or the liquor doing it to me but i was fucked up I got that head rush feeling where sometimes, you know, when you're just too fucked up and you get, you know, 
it's hard to describe. At least for me, it's like the bottom half of my face feels light. I almost can't feel it. But my, the top of my head, my brain feels heavy as fuck, dude. I swear to God, I'm going wet brain. So we stay at the event for maybe only a couple hours, and we decide that it's time to go get some food. And once we went to get food is where things really got eventful. You see, Tristan opted to not go with us. He said he was just going to go to the after party because the doors for the after party opened while the first event was still going on. So he was like, fuck it, dude. I'll just catch you guys at the after party. Now, he had also mentioned to us that he had also taken some shrooms before the event, and it seemed that he was tripping a little bit harder than us, which was kind of unacceptable. So on our way over to the restaurant, we took some more chocolate, and that's where things really got fun. You see, we got to this restaurant, and it was this tiny little Korean restaurant. It was in K-Town, and listen, LA has some of the best Asian food in the country. I mean, oh my God, you can get the best sushi, you can get the best K-barbecue, they got hot pot, I mean, oh my Lord, dude, it never ends out there. And we go to this little hole-in-the-wall place that's in a strip mall full of shitty little businesses, and that's how you know it's going to be fire. We walk in and they almost refuse to seat us, they're like, no, we already did last call, but finally, they come back and they're like, yo, we got a table for you in the back, but you got one order, so order every Everything you want at once because there's nothing after that. So we're like, fuck, yo, we're on the clock. They sit us down and they give us maybe like five minutes and they come back and we're just immediately on the spot. Got to order everything. So that's exactly what we did. It was that kind of place where you, you order a bunch of dishes to share. So we went ape shit, bro. We ordered way too much fucking food because we, we had never been here. We didn't know what the portions were like. So they start bringing it out pretty quickly, and as we're sitting there enjoying our meal, the Ritos definitely slapped me in the face. You see, the layout of this restaurant was kind of weird. They had the main entry area with some tables, and, you know, there, were, there was a little side door to the kitchen, but then they had this little back extension, and there was a bunch of tables back there, but it was strange because it wasn't a full-size room. It was like a hallway that they just crammed a bunch of tables in, and our table was at the very end of the hallway. So as I'm looking down the hallway, it just looks so fucking long. It looks like it's never ending. And I'm like, I'm looking around and it doesn't help that there's also these really dark wood panels on every surface. The ceiling, the floor, the sides, the walls, like everywhere. It's just dimly lit. It's dark. So I'm looking down there and I'm like staring at the other tables and I'm like, bro, what the fuck? fuck, you know, like, what is going on, I can't tell if it's the liquor or the shrooms, but I'm fucked right now, so I look back at the table, and I just, I focus on what's in front of us, we get a little bit of liquor, we enjoy ourselves, you know, we ordered some drinks, of course, you know how it goes, we, we can't mess around with the drinks, and they start bringing out our food, and all's fine and dandy, we finish up our meal pretty quick, and we walk outside, and we call an Uber and we're waiting for it for a, quite a while, about 15 minutes. Now, while we're in the parking lot, a very NPC moment occurred. Some people spawned in and they were beefing. You see, these two dudes walked out of the restaurant. This one dude who was a little bit older and kind of bald, and then this younger dude, and they were beefing about I don't know what. They were not speaking English, so... I don't know what the fuck they were beefing about, but they're going at it with each other, and they're, like, really up in each other's faces. And you could tell this one dude is, like, asking his girlfriend to let him fight. He has this girl hanging onto his arm, and he's looking over, and he's saying something to her, and he's just riled up. He's got his fist clenched up. They're talking shit to each other, and you could tell his girl's the only thing holding him back. And they're yelling loud as fuck. I mean, you could hear this from around the block, and I know that because out of nowhere from around the corner appear three very large BBW prostitutes. No, they're not women in Halloween costumes. This was no costume. You see, out in L.A., there's actually just hookers on the corner, right? It's pretty common. I mean, drive through Hollywood in certain parts and you'll see it, you know? And these were 100% prostitutes. Like, there was no costume here. They're, like, they were wearing nothing. 
Nothing. I saw everything. In fact, I could close my eyes right now and see a vivid depiction of these prostitutes. I'll never forget the way they just appear. They walk in and they start yelling. They get in the middle of them. They're like, what's going on? Like, what's the problem? They're, they're just, I don't even know what their beef is. Like, but they got in between the guys and like separated them. And I'm like, what the fuck? And these guys, I guess, were just so shocked by this, this random appearance that they just got in their cars and fucking left the prostitutes came and just defused the situation i'm like damn that was lit you know like good for them and we're just standing there the whole time laughing our asses off we're like what the fuck just happened bro so after that situation kind of settles our ride pulls up and we head on over to the rest or not the restaurant pardon me i'm an idiot we head on over to the next event the after party now we head over to this second event and this is where things really get fun you see the first event was much more professional, you know, people repping the, the companies, the weed companies they're a part of. The second event, they rented out some other warehouse. In this one, they had like a list, you know, you, you had to check in at the door. They had like a bouncer and everything, a line with ropes. So we're like, yo, fuck. Luckily, hey, we're on the list, baby. We're good. So we get in, right? And we walk in and it's this huge venue, like two stories they got, like, the, the flashing, like, the strobe lights going. There's a DJ in there. They've got another bar right as soon as you walk in. And I'm looking around, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. The, I mean, this is essentially a nightclub. Like, this is not, you know, I, I've been to a couple of the, the after parties, you know, for these events. But none were, were quite like this. this. This was pretty wild. So we walk in, and I'm like, damn, all right, you know, a nice little warehouse party. Let's get to it. So... You know, we walk over to the bar, and the bar just had these these huge fucking lights, dude. And everyone serving drinks was was in a costume. And all the costumes around me, I'm looking around, and I'm tripping so hard that some of them I don't even realize are costumes. I'm looking over, and there's this one dude next to me who had fucking wings on him. And I'm looking over, and I'm I don't I'm not even like computing it's a costume. I'm just like, oh. This guy can fly, bro. Like, that's <laughs> that's pretty dope. Congrats, man, you know? Well, well, I'm trying to get my next round of vodka crayons. So we get the vodka crayons, and I head back over to Eric and where everyone else is standing, and we're chilling there. And oh my fucking God, ladies and gentlemen, it just, it hit me. It hit me. I think it might have been the lights combined with how loud things were in there, but I was just having full sensory overload. I look at my hands and the my hands had almost absorbed the colors around me like my skin it was it was really strange dude but also my fingers looked like they were all kind of different sizes and I'm like bro what the fuck and in reality yeah your fingers are you know all different sizes but I mean they look fucked up all right they just didn't look right when I was looking at my hands and I'm just sitting there like damn bro I'm dumbfounded and I say to Attila I'm like yo how you feeling right now and he's like I'm feeling great now we didn't even realize we had stayed for so long at this venue. By the time we left, it was like 6 in the morning. But we were here for like 4 hours, just to give you guys an idea of how long this after-party event lasted. 4 or 5 hours, I would say, is how long we were there, right? So we're chilling, we're having our drinks, and we're smoking some fat-ass J's. Giant J's. And listen... I don't know what it is, but for some reason, when I'm on shrooms, I can't hold a conversation very well. So there's these couple people that come up, and I guess they had bumped into us at an event before because they recognized, like, me and Eric and Attila, but I did not know who the fuck these people were. Maybe it was the costume. I had no idea who they were. And I was tripping pretty hard, so they're talking to me, and I'm just not processing what they're saying at all like the words are flowing but i'm like my brain isn't computing how to appropriately respond you know so i'm sitting there like uh-huh you know looking around just like absolutely out of my mind these people probably thought i was like on meth or some shit no actually meth would have made me more alert maybe heroin would have been more appropriate but either way they probably thought i was off the shits at this point but i was just not processing a word that was being said to me and at that point i realized i was like yeah I don't think I need to redose again tonight. 
it was kind of like talking to a wall for them because I just had absolutely fuck all to say in response to anything being said to me, you know? Sober me probably would have recognized these people, but I was tripping so hard where the facial recognition just, just wasn't there, you know? I'm pretty sure my iPhone's facial recognition would have picked them up before I did, dude. There's just no chance in hell, right? So I'm just kind of smiling and nodding. The classic strat when I'm too fucked up to speak English. Just smile and nod, you know? Maybe it was the liquor also making me brain dead. But either way, just the cocktail of substances in me was going crazy. And the only thing I wanted to do was smoke more weed. So, we're sparking up. We're just constantly back to back, just busting out a million joints. We got so many joints at that earlier event that we were just stocked up for the night. I mean, we had brought weed with us, not a problem, but holy shit, we could just smoke back to back to back, spark two at a time. It didn't fucking matter, man. We had infinity joints. So we're just smoking up. We're kind of walking around the venue and we find this little back area with a bunch of seats and tables where you could sit down and smoke up and roll up. So we, we got ourselves a table and we sat sat down and oh my god it was it was it was just wonderful being able to sit down and get out of the loud room full of lights i finally felt like i could collect myself again right i, I finally felt like I, I could be myself again you know what i'm saying not be myself but you know what i mean i was just like holy fuck dude the sensory overload like i, I could speak again i could think again you know it was kind of like you know a recent shroom trip i had i was at this place called moto house out in la and i was at this big dinner and it was so loud in there i just couldn't fucking think i had another one of those moments but but my God, it was fun, nevertheless. I was just, I just had this shit-eating grin on my face the whole time, just looking around like, yeah, I'm feeling good, you know? But finally, we got to these tables, and I got to chill out a little bit, and we smoked a couple more joints, and we realized that it was starting to clear out a little bit in the venue. We got our last couple rounds of drinks, because for some reason, this bar stayed up all the way until, like, I mean, they stayed open after we left, like, we, we dipped, and it was like 5 or 6 a.m., and this bar was still going. So shout out those bartenders. They were probably all on cocaine. Big ups. But either way, we got our last couple rounds of drinks and caught the Uber and dipped on out of there. Oh, my God. By the time that we got out of there, I was exhausted. I mean, the sun was just barely starting to peak up a little bit. You know, you could tell the night sky was a little brighter now by the time we left. And holy shit, by the time I actually got back to my hotel and went to bed, it was just like full on bright out. Like it was just daytime, you know, and I was like, holy shit, dude. What an evening. Now, luckily, by the time we had sat down and chilled for a little bit and left, my, my trip had calmed down, so I was able to fall asleep pretty easily. I was more drunk than I was tripping at that point, and also violently stoned. So I went back to my hotel and knocked the fuck out. And the next day, I ended up going to Six Flags Magic Mountain, and we got cut in line by Tyga. Not someone in a Tyga costume. Tyga himself cut the entire line. I didn't know he had enough clout to do that. But either way... Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to drop a like if you do. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, make sure to head over to my Twitter at the Goblin with three ends on the end and enter in the PlayStation 5 giveaway. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, gamers.